In this video, I'm going to explain TDS, that's Total Dissolved Solids. Now, in order to understand total dissolved solids, first you have to understand water itself, H2O. So I'm going to use a whiteboard. So you remember that the formula for water is H2O. That means there's two hydrogen molecules to one oxygen molecule. And the way it looks is like this. If this is the O, and we know actually that the O has a T minus charge, then it will attract a hydrogen like that. And the hydrogen has a plus charge. Now, actually, there's still one minus charge, so it needs another hydrogen. The other hydrogen will put itself there, right? And the reason it looks like a Mickey Mouse head now but the reason is that because of the two pluses, they repel each other, so they can't sit exactly equal. So you end up with a, a basically, across here, you'll see there's basically a minus charge sitting here and a plus charge sitting here. Now, the next thing to understand, remember we've said there's stuff in water? Predominantly, there's two kinds of stuff in water. One is minerals like calcium and magnesium. So if you saw a calcium, Right? If it looked like that, then it's actually a 2 minus, similar to oxygen actually. And if you saw a magnesium, it's also a 2 minus. And there are other stuff in water which are plus, like sulfides and nitrides and nitrates, all these kind of things. They're all pluses. So what happens if you've got a water molecule sitting here, and and that water molecule on its way towards your time supply water has gone through some limestone or anything like that, then it's coming in contact with a lot of calcium, then some of these calcium molecules, this is the water, yeah? Some of these calcium molecules are wanting to attach themselves to the water molecule and they attach themselves here because they're electronically attached to sit on the, alongside the hydrogens. So they're going to stick there. Now another water molecule would look like this and it comes across one of these and right? it'll try and stick itself here yeah? and that's why when water has got things in solution they're attaching themselves as molecules to the water molecule now the key is imagine if we could take all of these off by electronically attracting them to something else, removing them electronically, then the water will be going through and is being purified with an electronic attraction or an ionic attraction, and you end up with just pure water molecules. And these water molecules, when they evaporate, they evaporate spot-free. If you have a water molecule with something else attached to it, it's this molecule here that gets left on the glass. And hundreds and thousands of these you can actually see with the naked eye. And that's the way that water works. So spot-free water is a pure H2O molecule. And water that spots has got a calcium or a magnesium or something else that's actually on the water. And that explains for you how you end up with total dissolved solids. 